All right, um, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I'm gonna say, Allah, Yom La, Yahab, Bashmir, Shah, Bashmir, Kakodash. Double honors to my apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. Much peace and love to all the brothers that's doing this work and truth to the city. Shalom. Okay, um, as you can see, you know, uh, a cop, a, a female cop had recently killed a man, you know, you know, broke into, you know, kicked his door down and shot him in his own home and. You know, as you can see, Jake being a little, you know, a little bitch, um, forgave her and wanted to give her a hug. And this is, you know, Jug hugs Amber Geyer, gives her a Bible after murder conviction causing stir. Look at this bullshit. This is a bunch of bullshit, man. You know? And this shit, see, our people are so fucking stupid. So stupid. When you niggas gonna fucking learn, man? This is why two thirds must be killed, man. Cause they will never understand that love worketh no ill towards his neighbor, man. And that forgive me bullshit, that's out the fucking window, man. This is Romans 13 and 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And she didn't love him. She, If she loved him, she wouldn't have fucking killed him in cold blood. She knew that was the wrong. She could have took necessary steps to not kill him in his own home. She could have took those steps. No, but she she decided to pull that damn trigger, want to be a trigger-happy bastard, man. You know? And this also shows that judgment is coming down on you heathens because you're not getting away with your crimes anymore. Start with you, Esau. You're not getting away with your bullshit anymore. But it just shows how stupid and how ignorant our people are. They don't know who their enemy is. You know, they trust in that they, they this this so-called white people love them, but they will never love you. They have a perpetual hatred for you. They want you to be dis they want you to be destroyed. They want you all dead. They want us all dead. And this is why the Lord has an indignation against them forever. This is Malachi chapter one one verse one. The burden of the word of Yahweh but to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? And that's the mindset of Jake. Jake don't think the Lord really loves them, man. But they think Esau loves them. I don't see how the fuck how, man. It says, was not Esau Jacob's brother, said Yahweh. Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains waste, and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So the Lord hates Esau. And the Lord shows that he hates Esau, man. You know? Verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Because at one point in time, they didn't have shit. They was impoverished, you know. They got chased into the caves, man. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people of whom, against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. So the Lord has indignation against the nation of Edom or Adawam forever. Why? Because all of the ill and all the uh, the unjust dealings that he's done in the earth. And this just shows, man, our people need to wake the fuck up. You know? The judge was a so-called black woman, too. A so-called Negro. Our people are a bunch of crouched lions, man. You know? Esau is crying for war against you fucking niggas. And you don't, y'all don't hear the, 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 the battle cry, man. <clears throat> Judah is a lion's whelp, man. Who shall rouse him up, man? The Lord gotta raise rouse you niggas up, man. Because obviously you don't clearly see who the fuck your enemy is. This is Genesis 49 and 9. It says, Judah is a lion's whelp, which is a lion, a young lion. You know, when youngs when lions are in their prime, they're very strong, you know, and very fierce. For the prey, my son, thou art going up. He stooped down, he crouched as a lion, and as a old lion, who shall rouse him up? Because an old lion has to be roused up, man. A young lion is quick on his feet, you know? And Jake, our people are young lions, but they acting like a bunch of old fucking lions. A bunch of old, lazy, crouched lions, man. They need to figure out who the hell they, they need to, they need, you, Jake need to get up, man. Get the fuck up like Apostle Tar made that video, man. Get your ass up. Because this right here is fucking unacceptable, man.
This is disgusting. This has my fucking blood boiling, man. Because it just doesn't make no sense how this devil can, you know, break into, you know, kick your door down, kill you, and then, oh, you want to forgive. Just like that, um, that, um, Emmett Till. Emmett Till's family forgives the the the, 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 one, the woman that lied on him and had him put to death brutally. Man, if Emmett Till was alive, she would, man, Emmett Till wouldn't be very happy about that, man. What would he think? You know, what would her, what were, um, what would your brother think about you fucking hugging her? Forgive, forgive and forget. But guess what? Jake's so forgiven. The Lord ain't forgiven. The Lord said you got to pay for that shit. That's the message, man. Let's go to um, Ecclesiastes. Three and fifteen. It says that which is hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And the Most High requires that which is past. So the Lord requires that blood that you have shed, Esau, and you shed His blood. You know, He might have been, you know, innocent to a man's eyes, but the Lord know, you know, had him put to death for whatever reason, man. You know, the Lord know why, but you know, you still got to pay for that blood you shed, His blood, man. So like the scripture says, man, the love worketh no ill towards his neighbor, man. You know, so if you love us, you wouldn't work. You wouldn't have did no evil towards us, man. You wouldn't have had that perpetual hatred for us, man. You know, you wouldn't despise us like you do. You wouldn't want to kill every last one of us like you do. But, you know, Jake ain't going to get it to the, uh, it's, it's too late, man. Esau going to lay you niggas down. You know, so with that, I ain't want to make it too long. I want to say, call law, yum law, yah, bashmir, shah, bashmir, kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Much peace and much love to the brothers that's doing this work and truth to sincerity. Shalom.